All right, so in this video, I'm going to talk about periodic law. So what do I mean when I say periodic law? I'm just talking about, you know, the origin of our modern periodic table. So the empirical laws by which our modern periodic table is based. And I think a good starting point for the discussion of periodic law is with the early periodic table that was proposed by a Russian chemistry professor named Dmitry Mendeleev. And in, in Dmitry Mendeleev's time, there were 65 known elements. So not many of the elements that, were known, that are known today were known back then, but the properties of many of these elements were known. So what Dmitry Mendeleev did was he arranged the elements, the known elements, in order of increasing atomic mass. And when he, in, when he arranged these elements in order of increasing atomic mass, he found that certain properties reappeared periodically. So, just to give you an idea of what that means, here I have a list of the first 12 elements on the periodic table. So hydrogen is the first one, helium is the second one. These are arranged in order of increasing atomic mass. So like I said earlier, the, uh, the, the properties of, of all these elements were known. So it was found that hydrogen and fluorine had similar properties. Helium and neon had simple had some of the same properties. Lithium and sodium had some of the same properties. And beryllium and magnesium also had similar properties. So notice we have what looks like sort of a pattern. We have this red, green, yellow, blue, and then four elements, and then red, green, yellow, blue, and then maybe there are four other elements like these four, and then perhaps we'll get our red, green, yellow, blue pattern again. And indeed, you do. If you were to continue this list in order of increasing atomic mass, you would see this pattern recur. So that was what the early periodic table was based on. So he took, what, what he did was he took this data and he arranged just a simple table. So let's say I have, let's say that's my table. And this table has rows and it has columns. Put some more rows in there. So in each row, from left to right, the atomic mass was increasing. And the rows were arranged in such a way as that the columns would have elements that all had similar properties. And this is also, in a nutshell, what our periodic table today is based off of. However, there are a few differences. So, for the modern periodic table, well, first of all, instead of 65 ele elements, we now know of 119 of them. And another difference is that the elements are actually arranged not in order of increasing atomic mass, but in order of increasing atomic number, or the number of protons in the nucleus. So if you consult your periodic table and you look up a column of the periodic table, those elements that make up that column are going to have some of the same properties. 
that's basically why the periodic table has the shape that it does.